A close call in Oakville tonight. Construction workers escape a devastating fire at their work site. It happened at a subdivision under development with hundreds of people on the job. Jason Gaidola joins us live there tonight. Good evening, Jason. Good evening, Taz. I'm right here on William Cutmore Boulevard near Dundas Street. And right now, fire crews have uh, just begun to wrap up today after fighting such a massive fire where nearly a dozen homes were lost as a result of it. Fire officials say no one was hurt, but one worker says he was right in front of the fire. Oh, lit. As he watches the new builds he was working on go up in flames, construction worker Gregory Miller says he and other workers narrowly escaped. I never experienced anything like this, and it's really it's a shaking experience. Miller says before it all began, he and nearly a dozen others were working on the main floors of the homes seen in this video. He says he looked out the window to see the fire break out between the homes. While he's relieved to be alive, Miller also says thousands of dollars worth of his tools were lost. Even my boss right now, he's shaking up because we were so close. If we were on the first floor, the second floor, it would, anything could happen. He also says he has no idea how the fire sparked. Well, you can tell that the houses aren't drywalled, so it's just a giant matchbox waiting to happen in one little flame and they'll all go up. Oakville Fire says it started around noon and 11 fire units responded to the multi-home construction site on William Cutmore Boulevard and Dundas Street, a subdivision under builder Madame Homes. There's approximately 10 homes affected. It was a wind-driven fire. The crews did an aggressive attack, managed to stop the fire from continuing. Oakville Deputy Fire Chief Drew Boyes says at least nine homes are completely gone and a few others have extensive roof damage. While crews continue to douse the hot spots, the deputy chief says no one was hurt. There were construction workers working on the homes, but they evacuated as soon as they knew that there was a fire happening. The deputy chief says they have yet to determine the cause of the fire or where the fire originated on the site. He says the Ontario Fire Marshal was contacted and will investigate.